Did you know that in 2022, 3.5 metric tons of cashew nuts were produced generating billions of dollars? But how do these nuts get processed on such a large scale? Let's explore the secrets behind the making of this snack. There's a little secret about cashews that might just surprise you. What we often think of as the cashew fruit is actually not the fruit at all. The true star is the smaller kidney-shaped cashew nut, nestled in a tough shell hanging just beneath. This nut is the real deal, masked in a hard, sunken face shell about 2 to 3 centimeters long. Cashew nut growing takes place in diverse locations, from India and Vietnam to the lush landscapes of Brazil and West Africa. Cashews thrive in temperatures of 30 to 38 degrees Celsius, with humidity levels above 50%, ideal conditions found across tropical belts and even Australia. Do you know that cashew nuts can do well in other tropical areas other than the predominantly known to be growing in coastal area? This cashew nut tree is an interesting tree which produces both the fruit and the nut at the same time. These little nuts are heavy hitters in the agricultural world, providing livelihoods for over 300,000 households. They sustain 600,000 jobs across the value chain, from harvesters and transporters to processors, marketers, and exporters. But their benefits don't stop at the economy. Cashews are also packed with nutrients that help manage blood pressure, support the nervous and immune systems, and check blood sugar levels. But how exactly are these valuable nuts harvested, and what challenges do workers face in collecting them? Harvesting cashews is no small feat. It's a highly labor-intensive process that begins when the cashews, fully ripe, naturally fall to the ground. To ensure the highest quality, collecting the cashew fruits early in the morning is crucial. Leaving them uncollected exposes them to the sun or insects, which can spoil the cashew apples and, consequently, lower the quality of the raw cashew nuts. Most of the harvesting is done by hand, given the unique nature of the cashew tree and how its fruits grow. However, a few mechanized aids have made their way into the process to ease some of the burdens. For instance, the cashew nut shaking machine designed to shake the branches gently, encourages the ripe nuts to fall to the ground. This machine can be operated manually or with a power source and helps reduce the physical strain on workers. Once on the ground, workers collect these nuts, which involves a thorough scan of the area beneath the trees. To simplify this task, the ground is often cleared of any cover and even swept to remove any dry leaves that might conceal the fallen nuts. Once the nuts are on the ground, collection tools like long poles equipped with hooks or rakes can be used to gather them more efficiently, reducing the need for constant bending and picking. The collected nuts are then gathered into baskets or sacks for the next stage. This is a whole uh, cashew fruit with nuts. As you can see, the nut is outside the fruit. You'll very rarely see a fruit like that. Separating the cashew apple from the raw nut has traditionally been difficult and time-consuming, posing risks to worker safety. However, the introduction of cashew separation machines has by far transformed this process, making it simpler. These machines automate the separation of the cashew apple from the nut, enhancing efficiency and safety. Designed to handle cashews with precision, they minimize damage and ensure consistent quality. Additionally, they can sort and separate cashews based on size, maturity, and quality boosting their overall quality. Post-harvest, the nuts undergo an initial sorting at the farm to remove any damaged or diseased nuts, ensuring that only the best quality proceeds for processing. It is critical at this stage to properly dry the nuts to reduce their moisture content to 9% or below to minimize the risk of mold during transportation. Drying can be achieved naturally by spreading the nuts in the sun for three to four days. If not adequately dried, the quality of the cashews will deteriorate, leading to a reduction in their selling price. Finally, the prepared cashews are packed in gunny or sisal bags designed to allow air circulation, keeping the nuts dry and ready for delivery to the processing facilities. Sorted, dried, and packed, 
The nuts are ready for transport. How are they transported? And most importantly, how are they kept to ensure premium quality upon arrival? Once packed, cashews embark on their journey from the farms to the processing facilities, typically involving trucks. Upon arrival, the cashews are immediately subjected to stringent quality control measures. This begins with a thorough inspection to assess the general condition of the nuts, checking for any signs of mold, insect infestation, or damage incurred during transportation. From each batch, random samples are drawn for detailed analysis. Following these initial quality checks, the cashews undergo cleaning to remove dust and other foreign matter. A crucial step given that cashews are collected from multiple farms and are highly susceptible to contamination. The cleaning process involves a sophisticated system that combines a raw cashew nuts cleaning machine with a calibration machine, which is fully automatic from feeding to sorting and sizing the cashews. This system utilizes a combination of vibrating sieves, a stone trapper, a comb tooth system, and an aerodynamic system, achieving an impressive cleaning efficiency of up to 98%. However, that's just the beginning. Now what other sophisticated processes await these cashews at the mega food factories? And how are they transformed to meet global quality standards? After cleaning, roasting is a key step that enhances the flavor and safety of the nuts. The process begins with either steam roasting or oil roasting. Steam roasting involves exposing the cashews to high pressure steam for a few minutes. This softens the shell and makes shelling easier while also deactivating enzymes and reducing microbial content. Alternatively, oil roasting involves placing the wet cashews into a continuous roaster where they are heated at 165 to 170 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. This method allows the salt to penetrate the nuts gradually, and thanks to the roaster's unique structure with automatic temperature control, each cashew is evenly roasted with high thermal efficiency. After the roasting phase, the nuts are quickly cooled using air conveyors or cooling trays to stop the cooking process and stabilize their quality. Cooling is crucial to ensure that the nuts maintain their texture and taste. The next stage involves sizing the cooled cashews. Using a sophisticated system equipped with a hopper and elevator feed, the nuts are efficiently sorted by size, reducing labor requirements and cutting costs. The cashews are then transferred to the appropriate containers based on their size, ready for the shelling process. Shelling uses mechanical and manual shelling machines, which can be adjusted to suit various operational layouts. Some facilities employ continuous automated shelling lines and include mechanical scoops to separate the kernels from the shells efficiently. It's essential to manage the byproducts of shelling properly. After processing, raw cashews usually weigh about 25% of their original weight, producing both shells and kernels. Removing the oily shells quickly is essential to prevent the kernels from becoming greasy. This separation is facilitated by a peripheral vibrating deck that ensures no contact between the lighter shells removed by a pneumatic aspirator and the kernels. After the cashews are shelled, they are led into a sorting machine. Here the nuts are categorized by size and quality, with each batch going into separate containers based on appearance. Walker, he either open the output gate and we get the kernel very, uh, very, very dry here. At this stage, the cashews are manually placed onto trays. Although more advanced facilities might use mechanical systems for faster and more economical tray filling. Once filled, these trays are stacked and then moved through a drying and humidification process. This controlled environment enhances the nuts flavor, texture, and shelf life within trolley mounted trays. Regular monitoring and precise measurements are essential during this phase to ensure optimal conditions. Following the conditioning process, the trays are emptied into a funnel-like machine that peels the cashew kernels, which are then manually sorted into various sizes and shapes by skilled workers. However, mechanical graders, known for their precision and speed, are becoming more prevalent in modern facilities. These graders employ cameras and sensors to accurately determine the kernel's dimensions before placing them in the appropriate bins. 
Finally, the cashews are carefully packaged to shield them from air, moisture, and light, which are elements that could degrade their quality. Vacuum-sealed plastic bags and airtight containers, often equipped with oxygen absorbers or nitrogen to prevent oxidation, are commonly used for this purpose. The packaged cashews are stored in a controlled environment, typically cool and dry warehouses, to maintain their quality until they reach various retail outlets, including supermarkets, specialty stores, and online platforms, ready to be enjoyed by consumers. They're really nice. They do taste similar to the Snapper Jacks, but they've also got a toffee popcorn sort of flavor. And they're healthier. They're salt and sweet, aren't they? Mm -hmm. That's my kind of snack, that mm -hmm. is. They're Very really good. good. If you enjoyed this and want to keep up with more fascinating stories, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and tap the bell icon to stay updated.